You already know what it is. It's Ian K back at it, this time over at El Pollo Loco because it looks like they've got shrimp back on the menu. So stay tuned because the Baja Shrimp Taco is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. So here we go with the Baja Shrimp Taco here at El Pollo Loco. And right off the bat, I'm getting nice hints of garlic in the air. You can definitely smell the marinated goodness on this one. It is pretty nice. Let's take a look on the inside of this tortilla. Looks like we've got about four of those nicely sized shrimps lined up beautifully there, marinated in garlic and chipotle. We've got some freshly shredded cabbage, some light pico, and a Baja chipotle sauce to go with as well. So nice little combination of goodness there. And like I said, that garlic is really standing out. I decided to get a little avocado salsa on the side. This is actually one of my favorites here. Beautiful situation, we'll go for that. It's got a little bit of heat to it extra. So hopefully that'll mix with what's already looking like a pretty tasty taco to begin with. Well, there you go. It's the Baja Shrimp Taco here at El Pollo Loco. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, this definitely smells pretty awesome. You can absolutely tell that these shrimps have been marinated in that chipotle and garlic goodness, guys. So very excited to jump into this. But real quick and like always, before I do just that, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. Guys, the Baja Shrimp Taco, my very first time trying the shrimp over here at El Pollo Loco. Let's do it. Mmm. A little bit of a squirt there, actually. Mmm. That's good. That Baja sauce has got a little bit of a mayonnaise type of vibe to it, so it's not my all-time favorite, but the sizzleness is definitely there, which is really nice. Not crazy hot, just to kind of let me know that it is there, but the shrimp are absolutely succulent, guys. Nice and juicy on this one. And just to give you a little bit of a look on the inside of this one here, as you can see, the shrimp are fairly decent sized. I wish there was just a little bit more cabbage, a little bit more fullness to the overall taco, though. As you can see, it looks like it's a little empty on the top, but overall, the nice marinated that you can see the seasoning on that shrimp, is a nice situation. It's a nice sized shrimp there too. Take a close look at that. It really is pretty decent. But guys, I gotta be honest, I wish it was just a little bit bigger overall. For $2.99, that's really the only thing. All right, now considering this is literally like a four biter of a taco, considering this four shrimp in here, let me jump right on into that salsa real quick and go for a little avocado goodness here, guys. I'm absolutely a fan of the avocado richness that's in this. It's got a nice little bit of heat on its own, but I'm excited to see if this is gonna do anything to the overall flavor, which is pretty decent already. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Totally takes it up. Absolutely. Mmm, yeah. That is really good. I'd almost wanna get this again, but with some avocado slices, and you can actually do that when you customize it if you decide to give this one a go. It's $1.49, at least here in my area, which means this taco would literally be $4.49 for this guy. So the size, like I said, with two bites left, that's pretty much it. I don't think it's worth it for that, but it's still very, very tasty. But hey, if shrimp isn't necessarily your thing, you've definitely got some other options on this mix and match menu over here at El Pollo Loco, including the obvious chicken taco. You've also got a keto-friendly taco and even a pollo-less taco as well. But for this one, I really wanted to give the shrimp a try considering I've never really had it. And as you guys can see again, just to kind of wrap this one up here, it's decent for what it is. I just wish it was just a little bit more filled out. There's a decent amount of cabbage and that Baja sauce is actually good. The spicy Baja goodness on this one, it really sets this one off. I just wish, like I said, there was just a little bit more to go around for the money. But guys, decent either way. El Pollo Loco, feed the flame. Man, this rainy weather is completely playing with the focus on my camera right now. I hope you guys got all that. All right, so with that said, after this quickie look at this Baja Shrimp Taco here at El Pollo Loco, I'm gonna have to give it a pretty decent seven out of 10. Like I said, the only thing really killing this one is the quantity on the inside for the money, because the flavor is absolutely there. And the decent sized shrimp is a nice plus there as well. I was really hoping they weren't gonna be very, very small. But then again, for $2.99, like I said, you are expecting just a little bit more. Even if it is still seafood, give me just at least a couple of more shrimp in there, El Pollo Loco. Other than that, solid. All right, so here comes the obvious question. Did this one look pretty solid to you? Do me a quick favor, drop some comments down below. First things first, are you a fan of street tacos? And if you are, how authentic did this one look to you in terms of being a street taco? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Nice job on this one, Pollo, but next time around, definitely lace this one up with at least a couple of more shrimp. That's all it really needs. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.